Welcome back everyone to Farm Manager 2018. So where we left off in our last video is we are now working on a new row of greenhouses and of course we're going to be mixing in dealing with the ones we already have and you see here we've got a couple that are ready to be worked on ready to get that cash flow going from these guys so these will be the red peppers so I will have to remember that uh, we are ready to go for the red peppers and set up a an auto sale for those as well uh, along the same lines uh, gonna have to figure out exactly what I want to do with this space up here uh, because the wind turbines are up there it, it greatly affects what I can put up here because any of the bigger enclosures for the animals simply won't fit I think we can actually fit one more right in here uh, and that's what I want to do here at the beginning and at least I believe we can yes I can fit one more right in here uh, but you can see if I move over just one more space then uh, we are not in good shape so let's go ahead and put that one down so right now what we're trying to do as we approach uh, winter as we get closer and closer to winter we're going to want to have some additional income oh are we already done with that yes we are done with that so let's go ahead and get these guys working we need to get busy harvesting so we can get that money all right, so our fields are being destroyed by insects and blah, blah, blah. That's not, again, these are going to um, be, they're going to outlive their usefulness here very shortly because we are going to stop producing any honey very soon. Uh, so that honey income that we have so greatly appreciated uh, for the first couple of uh, seasons is definitely going to be going away very soon. Okay, so we've got our new our new shed up here let's go ahead and hire our new worker and same thing here we're just going to look for basically cost and something like this there we go that is very good let's see where do we want to go yes we definitely want to go up there okay so we've got our worker in there let's go ahead and max them out while we're here and then we're going to keep this as goats, but you can see we could swap it over to sheep. I plan on doing a separate section for sheep, sheep entirely. Uh, who knows? We may end up doing it over here in this area, or we may do it in a, a different area. But uh, we are going to do a separate section entirely for them. Uh, and same thing here. I'm not going to worry about the animal husbandry just yet on those. Uh, we'll get into that probably with the pigs. Uh, although I have to warn you, that becomes a bit of a clicker game. Uh, and takes up a lot of your time once you start dealing with that because it, particularly if you play on the fast forward the higher levels of that uh, it becomes a, a much bigger deal okay let's get back busy here in fact I need to keep these guys up here uh, otherwise I will be inclined to forget about them and just pretend that all of these are already done that is very easy for me to do Okay, so now we've got, this guy should bring in the food. Uh, this is the allowed food, and you can see we've got three different versions of that, so they should have plenty of food in all directions. And now you can see this number increasing as our worker brings in the food. Now, we have to keep an eye out, and whoop, you can see that he brought in a little bit of silage. So yeah, he's bringing in a little bit of everything right now to give our goats uh, plenty of food. But we're going to have to keep an eye out, particularly on the cows. I have had some trouble in other playthroughs with the worker who is in the cow barns. He seems to get really enamored with the milk and collecting that uh, and taking that over to uh, the storage. And he seems to forget quite easily about the fact that they need food as well. Okay, so now we're getting weather alerts for too low a temperature as you can see we're down to 34 degrees uh, Fahrenheit which is dangerously close to freezing actually so that means that all of our honey production is now gone well we can forget about that and we are roughly halfway through uh, fall so the the cold weather got here very quickly okay there we go let's see it looks like we have a lot of harvesting needs to be done now and we definitely want to make sure that we take care of uh, that. The good thing is, uh, particularly with the strawberries, it takes very little time 
to actually uh, deal with the strawberries. Uh, let's go back to let's get back to work on these as we can. So I'm keeping an eye out in the top left hand corner for the number of workers that we have idle. So we know the two that we have. Uh, those are extra hands that if we need them, they're available, uh, but I'm probably not going to use them a whole lot. Right now, they're just costing us money more than anything, uh, and they deal with these small fields whenever we uh, absolutely need them to, just to keep them alive, basically. Uh, but they're done for for this year. You can see they have died, and that times out pretty perfectly with uh, the decrease in temperature and uh, the honey production from the bees. Unfortunately, these guys are just going to keep running around in here and doing absolutely nothing useful. Uh, throughout the entire winter. So I guess if nothing else, it gives us something to look at on the screen. All right, let's see. We're back up to five. So we're ready to do some more harvesting. All right, we'll take care of those. All right, so we're on the first two greenhouses of our uh, final row for now. You can see we've got some more harvesting to do there. So there's no shortage of things for these guys to do once we get enough of these greenhouses up and running. Uh, but w while you're actually getting them up and running, you have more work than you actually have uh, people to do. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and just use some of these extra hands uh, to do this. See, what do we want to use here? So far we have, if I remember correctly, we've got strawberry and then we've got red pepper. Okay, so I think down here I'm going to put tomatoes. And again, I'm not making that decision uh, based on profitability. I'm making that decision based on I just want to do different things and just uh, have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and do tomatoes. We would need 62 of those on this particular field. Uh, and as a matter of fact, we are almost ready to get back to Well, no, never mind. Yep, we're keeping these guys busy. So our two extra workers that we have are going to be uh, hard at work doing some of this excess work down here to get these greenhouses up and running, but we need to buy some tomato plants. Uh, let's buy some seedlings. Let's actually go ahead and buy 150. Okay, so quite expensive actually for these, uh, given the circumstances anyway. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. And anytime I hit the autofill, I next try to make sure that we get our maxed out workers in there instead of uh, our laborists that are really good, but they are only really good at uh, the manual labor task. We don't want them to be the ones harvesting because they won't harvest as much for us. Okay, I need to, let's see, let's go ahead and pause this just for a second. Let's remove our silage. And let's get our red pepper up here, okay, because I need to set up our auto sale on the red pepper. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, there it is. So we'll set that up. Uh, but just to make sure we don't lose anything this time, because again, these guys, these guys have a short uh, shelf life. You can see three more days, essentially, they're going to be done. So let's go ahead and get all of those sold. That'll be 20 grand. So let's make sure we don't lose those to spoilage. All right. And next, let's see what they've done. All right, where are they putting our, there's the tomato seedlings and they're already in. So tomato, let's go ahead and autofill. There's our two, well, there's two of our workers. That means we put our other two workers somewhere in these others. Oh, well, I think we will be able to live through it. It just hurt our profitability a little bit to do that. Okay, so we got planning that's going to be taking place here in our first greenhouse. And these guys should be able to knock this out fairly quickly because the planning uh, portion of, of all of these tasks really is one of the shorter things uh, right up there with uh, fertility because uh, sprinkling that fertilizer generally doesn't take very long either. Okay, let's see what kind of training we've got 
available to us. Uh, at some point, I do want to do this one because it opens up it opens up some things for us long term, uh, particularly if we're going to get into uh, doing some some actual field work instead of just the greenhouses. But for right now, it is so tempting. I mean, reducing our bills is going to be huge because that obviously has a direct effect on our profitability. We are are doing quite nice right now, but the winter, the end of fall, throughout the winter, and then actually the beginning portion of spring are going to be rough on us uh, for a while because we are so dependent upon our uh, bee income. So we're going to need to get that uh, taken care of. All right, let's go ahead and let these guys get to work. Okay, so we've got three more available. Let's go ahead and put them to work plowing. Okay, let's swap sides so I can keep track of actually these two that we're working on. All right, so planning is in progress, and these guys will be done here before too terribly long. So then this will be one more greenhouse up and running. So that first harvest always takes the longest of each one of these plants. Then after that, it takes a much shorter time in general to get your second harvest and, and so on beyond that. So we're looking in good shape there. Uh, let's take a quick look. We've got crops, silage, grass. Okay, so we've got plenty of food going for the goats. And of course, that's even more of the uh, goat's milk income that we'll have. And as we've looked at in the past, it is not, uh, for sure, not the most profitable venture that we have. You can see the milk itself uh, pales in comparison to what we're going to get from uh, the greenhouses and also what we're going to get from the wind farm. Uh, I can see a very nice income level from the wind farm in this last month. Uh, and our expenses on the expense side, it's no shocker that salaries, employee salaries are going to be our biz biggest expense. Uh, not necessarily worried about expenses like goats because that should be a one-time purchase. For us and then the cost of maintenance of uh, buildings not all that big of a deal but yeah the employee salaries are definitely a big deal all right looks like we've got five workers available let's see who it throws in here okay still the three that we want okay and now we're down to two being available let's see who it would throw in there Oh, nope, we caught it at the perfect time. So we actually have three available because they have done with the plowing and with the fertilizing there. All right, so we're ready for the next step on those. Uh, and a matter of fact, let's go ahead and buy. You can see all these harvests. Those didn't take very long at all. And then we've got our training is finished. So we're going to get another 150. Okay, let's go ahead and get the planning done with these before they spoil. I'm bad about allowing these things to spoil. I always purchase enough to get to where we need to be, uh, but then I get busy doing other things and we end up not getting everything done that we need to get done. All right, so who are are the two? Nope, these are still two. So now I'm at a loss for where are our two guys? Uh, okay, so that's all of our beekeepers there. And I forget where I put them. Where did these guys go? I don't know. I must be losing my mind, which is not entirely out of the question. All right, so we have nobody that is idle right now. We're putting these guys to work. And again, you can see, even though there is no honey being created, these beekeepers are still hard at work doing, I don't know what. Uh, we'll, we'll call it cleaning. They're doing a fall cleaning, and they will continue to do that cleaning over the winter. Apparently, these bees are extremely messy, and we need to do a lot of cleaning. So that's, that's the way we'll label that, and we'll let them get on about their work. All right, we need to purchase our irrigation system there. 
and that boy, I tell you what, it is a lot of money, particularly early game. Uh, if you start out with low income uh, or a low starting amount of cash, uh, we started out with a medium amount, so we had plenty. But if you start out with a low amount of cash, a couple hundred thousand dollars, then that ten thousand really, really presses you hard. Uh, but, but yeah, it, to have me remember to water all of these on a very regular basis because their water runs low constantly. And with this many, it would be a constant thing of just working our way through all of these. So the 10000 for me is more than worth it uh, to not have to deal with all this. All right. Uh, we've got bunches of harvest coming due right now. Okay, we're almost done with our planting, so that will be two more done on the top row. In the meantime, though, the bad thing is we are probably going to allow our uh, tomato seedlings, see, 12, 13, okay, yeah, just in a couple of days. So in all likelihood, they are going to go bad, and we're going to have to do some more purchasing, which, not great, uh, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world either. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get going on this because I do want to try to get these done eventually. But you can see, I mean, there is no shortage of things to do for these guys. So we'll keep this one group really busy while we attempt to work our way through all of these greenhouses. All right, so we're up over $500,000 now. And you can see, there's enough to keep you busy as you continue to grow if you play on uh, the fast forward level. Uh, if, you, if you choose to play on more of a normal speed, then you've got plenty of time to get things done. Uh, let's see, 20% cheaper workers. Yes, we'll take that. So in about two weeks time, we'll have that done. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, yep, those. that's perfect. Let's go ahead and get that work done. Again, keeping everybody busy. Now the question becomes, all right, so I had mentioned that I wanted to get back into the sheep. So we already know we can't fit them right here because of uh, the wind turbine placement. We'll figure something else out there. I've got one idea for that, it looks like we can fit two, perhaps three, right here. Uh, so that's not terrible. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do just that. So let's go ahead and do one. Yeah, it's only going to be two that we can fit there. So our our wonderful placement and uh, efficiency of our use of land is continues. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get these guys busy. Only two of them, but that, that's okay. And if we can continue to work through these, get these done, maybe we can get, if we can get our way through these last few, then we will simply be in great shape. All right, so I'm pretty sure our seedlings, oh, our new ones, okay, 1231. All right, I'll take that for sure. Let's get back in here before they change their mind and get these done. So our, the newest ones that we got, we still have a little bit of time to get those done. All right, so that is excellent. And so while that is the case, let's get back to work. All right, so we're planning here. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And get that out of the way. So we can move back. So let's make sure. All right, so we've got there. It's growing 30, 38 more days there, 52 more days there. Uh, we're planting there. So yeah, we've got two more to go. Now let's go ahead and purchase the irrigation system for both. All right, we only have one person that is available right now. I would assume that means that the other two are resting or they could be stuck. I'm looking around the map. That happens from time to time in the game. Uh, but I don't see anybody stuck. I guess maybe I wouldn't see them, but most everybody I see is moving. So 
So we'll give this a little bit of time and see if it works itself out. But yeah, anytime I see a weird number, because that one is a weird number, we're doing everything. Uh, we will not be delivering this package because I don't want to go through every one of these houses and figure out which house Sophie Gray is in. So we really only have one. Yeah, we really only have one. All right, you can see now we are moving over into winter. Uh, the ground, you can see the graphics are definitely changing on screen. And why do we only have... I'm trying to see if anything in the game is glitching out. Because we should have more than one worker available. There we go, now we're back to four. There we go, and now back to five. Okay, that's making more sense now. That's a little bit more that I can see, plus we got some other guys that are moving around. Yeah, now we're getting back to some numbers that make more sense, but I, I, won't, I won't lie, I was getting a little bit worried there. All right, we're gonna put one of these busy, still working on these, and then we'll let these other guys get in here and do this harvesting since we ha really haven't done anything with our final greenhouse. So we have two more available. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and just let them do some more harvesting as well. All right, I'm feeling a lot better than I was before. All right, so now let's get back up to the top and deal with, all right, so we got four out of eight. We got room for four more up here. Let's go ahead and before I forget, swap this out to sheep and same thing over here sheep there we go all right temperature too low again we're not terribly worried about that let's keep all this money coming in okay contract ended yeah we know we're not worried about that let's go ahead oh we need to hire a couple of people so let's go ahead and do that and again, we're looking for something very simple. We are looking for their ability to work with animals, and that's really it. All right, so every time we come back and go back in, uh, they're giving us a different set. At least some of these are going to be different. There we go. This is what we're looking for. We want to make sure this guy is housed up top. And let's see, is there anybody else? Because we need two. There we go. That's, that's good enough. Again, I'm not going to spend all day long looking for the absolute cheapest workers or anything like that. Okay, so these guys are now maxed out. All right, let's get these guys back to work down here. I know there's some harvesting. Oops. I know there's some harvesting that needs to be done, I'm sure. The fun of playing on uh, fast forward. I love it. All right, so we are going get, to get going on these animals. So again, same thing. Right now, I'm not interested in the clicker game that comes with uh, animal husbandry just yet. We got enough going on right now. All right, so the allowed food here, crops, grass. We've got some wheat for them to eat, and of course, silage. So we're in great shape there. What we're gonna need to set up here very shortly is, oh, where is, where is my worker that we hired? Did I put them to work down here somewhere? Are they one of these? No, where did they go? I hired two people. Either that or I am losing my mind which is entirely possible at this point. All right, we are ready there. Unfortunately, we got some other stuff to do. All right, let's get some harvesting done and we'll work our way back to these other two greenhouses as soon as we can. Oh, there we go, there we go. You are not available. You, all right, wait a minute now. 
Wait a minute. You guys are going to drive me nuts here. All right, let's get this done. Now, who did I put in here? Did I, <laughs> that's what it was. Okay, so let's, let's get this corrected. There we go. There we go. Much better option this time around. Much better. So everybody is where they need to be, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, yes. Everybody here that needs to be here. All right, we're good. Let's buy some more tomato plants. And hopefully we can make it with these before they go bad. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's see. Seriously? They haven't gotten here yet? I thought with it being on fast forward, they would have been delivered. Nope, here they come right now. Maybe. Nope, wrong truck. Okay, so we have five available. Let's go ahead and start plowing. All right, so the peppers, we have 192 of those. Let's just make sure. Never hurts to make sure that the auto trade is on for all of these. Uh, red peppers is on. We did that. Of course, the milk, it better be on. Otherwise, we've been wasting all of this. All right, now we got sheep's milk. We need to add that somewhere in here. There it is. So let's add that and also the sheep's wool. So we get two products out of the sheep. Okay, so that should be perfect. Now we're running out of room up here on top. I could remove the honey for now until it becomes that time again, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, let's just go ahead and add the sheep's milk up here, and you can see that's it. That's as far as we're allowed to go. All right, we have two people available. We need more training. And that price of land is going to be important soon and let's see what do we have okay I like this increases the speed of the strength regen for the permanent employees by 15 percent that's good that means that whenever they run out of uh, essentially strength or stamina however you want to call this and they have to go back to their home to regenerate all of this. It'll actually happen 15% faster. So I am a big fan of that. All right, let's get back to work on these seedlings. I know we only have two people, but that's okay. As long as we're getting it done. So now these guys, I can get rid of this one because they'll take care of that. Then we're down to one more greenhouse. Woo! And then once we get done with this greenhouse, we're going to take a breath for a little while on these greenhouses and we'll simply be able to queue up the harvesting whenever that time comes. All right, but for now, let's check in, make sure our food situation is going good. Okay, everybody's got a variety of food. That's what we had wanted to happen. We've still got, yeah, we're going to have plenty of wheat for a while because you can see it's going to last through 2021 about midway through the year. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of food for a while. Okay, we're doing good. We got a lot of wasted space here is what I see mostly on the map based on my layout choices, but we are gonna be just fine. All right, plowing is done. Let's go ahead and get started cultivating before I see more icons pop up. We're now up over 600,000. So again, we could upgrade. Uh, we are working our way toward halfway through winter right now and we've had no shortage of stuff to do because we have a lot of animals and the greenhouses. All of those things have kept us plenty busy. Let's make sure, okay, we got 15 animals, 15 animals, so I haven't messed up anything there. And my plan at current time is as long as things continue to go smoothly as they have been, my plan is to use this area at the bottom down here for more beehives and we'll cram as many of those in here as we can and I'll put in additional housing down here either right here or right here for those so we'll put in at least eight more to fill up uh, a full house and then we should be in great shape there so that will take up again as much of this room as I can with that 
All right, let's see. Are we running out of... Yes, we are out of grass. Uh, silage. Oh, we got plenty of silage. We got plenty of silage, so no reason to make any more. Plenty of crops. And then, of course, plenty of wheat. So we got plenty of food for right now. All right, let's go ahead and do some more harvesting as these guys finish up. So, yeah, we got three workers in there. We still got a couple in here. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually, let's go ahead and fertilize. Get these three guys up and going because I really want to get done with this final greenhouse in this video. Uh, we're running a little bit low on time for my preferred time range. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Again, these strawberries don't take very long to harvest at all. And we're going to get our first harvest here of uh, tomatoes. Now, what that means is that we're going to need to have some of these uh, set up on auto trade to make sure we get those sold, hopefully in time. It comes by twice a month, which is cutting it rather close for us right now. Oh, speaking of low food. All right, why do you not have any food? Uh, there's most definitely plenty of food available. You can see their health will start to go down and they will start dropping like flies. All right, so they have basically no grass. Let's find our guy here. And let's just sort of follow along with him and see what he's doing. All right, please tell me he's going to get food. Okay, right now he's back in his home, regening his strength. All right, now we're going to follow him through. He is doing what? Okay, he picked up some manure. He's going to take that out. So one of the issues that seems to be going on with the workers in this game, particularly with the animals, is that they prioritize everything before food, uh, which, okay, and there he goes. Now he's going to get the milk, which understandably, maybe that's the income, but you got to keep them fed or it's none of it's any use now he's going to grab the wool so he's he's not getting any food during all of this i would certainly rather him take care of the food first as his top priority okay he's still looking very good on strength but for some reason he goes right back in yeah this yeah that this needs some some fixes that's for sure because we're going to lose all of our animals if he continues to behave this way uh, and it appears as though he is. Okay, so, so much for that idea. All right, come on, let me back out. All right, now the game has decided that I can no, no longer... Okay. Stop. Game. Stop. Focus. There we go. There we go. Yep, so now I would estimate that for whatever reason, we are going to lose all of the sheep in this particular one because they're... He doesn't appear to have any interest in bringing food in. Uh, I've had this happen in other playthroughs, and I've tried a bunch of different stuff. I've tried firing the worker, then rehiring them. I've tried getting a new worker. I've tried, man, I don't know. I've tried several different things, and nothing seems to work. It seems to be just a pattern. And so it may be that we just have to lose our animals here. Um, and if it continues... Uh, let's actually go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this sown. Do I have any seedlings? Yes, I do. Let's get to planning on that one so we can <laughs> so we can have those done. You can see it's come at a cost because now we've got a lot of harvesting to get done. But we are finally going to get done with that last greenhouse. So yeah, this is just not looking good right now. He's not. He's refusing to bring food in, even though there is tons of food available in multiple different categories and he is going to kill our sheep so I'll tell you what since we're getting close to the end of the video let's just go ahead let's go ahead and sell these guys we're selling them at a loss but it's better than a total loss at this point and we're gonna try to reset on this we're gonna actually clear this guy out 
and we're gonna let this one set for a little bit and let's just take a look all right we're running low on grass but okay you just saw the silage number go up and I believe one of these others went up as well so it appears as though this shed is doing okay and okay we're looking good here in the cow shed yep same thing still looking good all right so far so good in in the other animal so we just had the one issue okay not bad now we can turn our attention back to uh, the greenhouses so we have our one person that is available this guy we're actually going to release him that's going to cost us a little bit of money but uh, at this point we're just going to reset everything with this and we'll come back next time uh, and we'll we'll retry this again at some point and maybe give the, the game a little time uh, to reset and, and maybe get some food in there because it seems to be going pretty smooth in in the other animal location so we'll hope maybe it was just some sort of glitch that we can indeed take care of alright so now we're just gonna get busy working on these greenhouses uh, let's see we've got tomatoes all right are you gonna show me tomatoes or are you gonna make me wait yep you're gonna make me wait until we've actually harvested some of them first all right but let's go ahead and get started with some other training let's see what we've got here uh, increase the strength of employees that is a very good thing uh, seasonal workers we, we haven't gotten into those yet all right increase the rate of production okay we'll take that it's 90 days uh, yeah let's go ahead and do it that's not the end of the world we'll go ahead and let that happen I'll tell you what let's go ahead also and get some tomatoes in the warehouse because I need to set up the automatic uh, trade for those all right looks like he's about to put some in here I believe he did tomatoes yes he did so this will enable me hopefully to find those there they are and set those up on the auto sale All right, so as I mentioned, we're running low on time. Once again, no shortage of stuff for us to do, even though we are coming toward the end, actually, of winter. So not only did we have plenty of income to get us through winter, we have actually greatly increased our income as our greenhouses are now in full swing. I mean, you can see it. There is all sorts of work to be done on these greenhouses. And that's what we're going to continue to do because that's where our money is coming from. Uh, particularly during the winter and then once uh, spring gets gets here and the weather gets a little bit warmer uh, toward the middle of spring then we'll get that B income that will kick back into high gear uh, but right now we are doing absolutely amazing on money we have been able to do a lot of training and of course we have managed to build a lot of greenhouses We've built some more animals. We finally got into sheep like I wanted to. And next time we'll look at some more animals because I'm thinking we might be able uh, to fit some more up uh, right in here and maybe another one right over here, maybe for the, some of the chickens, rabbits, who knows. A lot of options for us uh, as we continue our gameplay series of uh, Farm Manager 2018.